to my channel today i'm going to be doing a braces update video with you guys i haven't done one of these videos in quite a long time so i know i've been slacking i am sorry but i am really trying my best um somebody asked me for a braces update and i realized i haven't done one in a while so i was like okay i'm gonna film and let them know what it's been like my experience you know all that stuff so it's been around 10 months since I've been having my braces and let me just tell you, time goes by super fast. Um, I really don't, I feel, I literally feel like I just got my braces and it's already been like 10 months, almost a year. It's crazy to me, but um, like I noticed that once I got my braces, everything started moving and getting um, better like super fast. Like I thought it would take longer for them to be getting straightened, but it really isn't it's just the pain the pain that you have to deal with is what makes it like so hard for you but that it really is a fast process like you can literally see changes in like a month i feel like in a month in i already saw a lot of changes in my in my teeth because um they were really bad I did notice that with my braces, there was like a gap created in between my, like my front middle teeth. There was like a gap that was forming, forming and it was like really upsetting me because I was like, damn, like these braces are making me have a gap in between and I really don't like it because I never used to have that gap at all. And it just started like forming out of nowhere and I was a little scared. I was like, damn, like I really don't want this gap right now. Like what is this, you know? <laughs> And I was really confused and I was nervous and then I talked to my orthodontist about it and he's like I know like you think this gap is like ugly and I know you think it's like really bad but um you're gonna start like your teeth are gonna be ugly before they look good he was like this is just a process you have to trust the process you're gonna have like a couple of gaps between your teeth when this and it's only because like it's all adjusting you know since your teeth are moving like everywhere you have to be patient like that final result is gonna be good and like and that just made me feel so much better because i like that gap really caught me off guard so i was like worried but after that um that once i got my power trains in they the gap disappeared like it closed up and i was like super happy i was like thank god because that gap was really not cute like i felt like it was so ugly but and it wasn't like extremely big like a whole big ass gap you know it was just like you could notice your gap and i told my like i was talking to my friend about it too i was like damn girl like i feel so weird with this gap because I told her I was like braces are supposed to make your teeth better and it made a gap and I was like really upset about it but she's like girl like be patient like it's gonna be better because she had braces too and she's like yeah I know what you mean she's like you're gonna have that but it'll be okay and I was like okay but yeah so I feel like other than that there really isn't a lot of um like there isn't too much to like update you guys on because i feel like it's just a time process you just have to trust the process it may take a while i feel like i'm gonna have my braces for like a year and a half maybe two years but and i feel like that's only because the main problem of my teeth was like the front like the front the front of my teeth were like really um they were really bad like like i remember my front teeth was like all twisted like it was um crooked and it was like lifted upwards and like the, these bottom teeth were all like crowded and ugly and now when i see the difference it just, like it just makes me feel so much better about myself because it was one of my biggest insecurities back then i feel like it made me look so ugly and it made me feel so ugly and compared to now like i just feel so much better about myself and it made my like confidence really go up so about a month ago i got my power chains and let me just tell you the pain that they put me through oh girl like i thought i was going in there for my monthly um braces adjustment where they just tightened them but no they literally changed the entire like 
um, how the rubber bands work instead of from the beginning you have rubber bands in each of your teeth and it begins to like adjust them and get them moving and with the power chains what it does is it adjusts your entire mouth like your entire smile I guess just so that it's um so it's even and so it's straighter um I had no idea I was gonna get this when I walked in there because they didn't tell me I wish they would have but because I was I was not prepared for the pain um the pain was super bad like I felt like I was starting over I feel like I couldn't eat for like a week and a half and I was struggling and I wish they would have let me know so that I could go and buy food because I didn't really have like a lot of food um like applesauce yogurt like all those types of stuff I didn't have that so I was very stressed out and I had to go and buy food but other than that like it was it was just the pain because the pain was really bad and let me show you let me show you guys how my teeth are looking I am honestly really excited for the like final result because I feel like my teeth are looking so much better and it makes me so much happier because I remember like <laughs> when i first started they were so ugly and they looked so different compared to now they just looks like so straight and i'm really excited to see the final results but let me just show you guys what they are looking like these are my teeth as of right now around 10 months in with the power chains so as you can see, these power chains, they go all around your teeth. And I got like a navy blue type of color. It's really cute. I like the color. They look really different compared to back then. Because back then I had like, like I said, I had rubber bands on each of my teeth. Um, But right now I have like that thing straight across. And they're not ugly. At first I thought they were like very ugly but now i'm like kind of getting used to it like whatever like they're cute as long as you make it work you can make it look cute but yeah um these are the teeth as of right now and yeah i mean for the power chains i feel like it's harder to get food out just because like there's like little gaps in between like if you're nervous about getting your braces or getting your power chains whatever the heck you're nervous about i don't know like i feel like you just really have to um you just really have to trust the process make sure that you're brushing your teeth consistently because you don't want to have like cute teeth or like not cute teeth but you don't want to have like nice teeth with braces where they're all yellow and like dirty you know like you just want to make sure you're brushing your teeth three times a day um in between meals just to make sure there isn't any food stuck um i feel like it really isn't that hard maybe just like eating certain foods be careful with the be careful with what you eat that way you don't hurt yourself and you don't like break a bracket or whatever um i've always heard that people break brackets whenever they're eating or like i don't know i don't know how that happens and honestly it hasn't happened to me at all like during these past like 10 months none of my brackets have broken or like anything like that so yeah i also think it's really important that once you get your like braces in and they adjust them and they change them and all that stuff you need to make sure that you don't have any like wires poking your mouth because it can be really painful and it can be like really annoying so always make sure that before you leave your orthodontist like um make sure to check that you don't have anything like bothering you that way you don't have to come back or be like bothered and they do give you like the wax for your braces just in case like something is bothering you and in the beginning i used to always use it because it was like like all the wires and all like i would get my lips cut like the inside of my mouth would really hurt and i would always have to put wax so that it wouldn't hurt me but um after a while it just stopped happening so i don't wear wax at all anymore in the beginning i did just because your mouth is like still getting used to it but right now like i haven't had any problems so i haven't been using any wax which is a good thing because having to put wax on all the time is really annoying it was really annoying for me but right now i don't have to deal with that so i've been doing good on that i'm gonna put in a picture or a video of what my teeth looked like 10 months ago with no braces and I'm gonna show you guys like just what it's been looking like because 
I feel like you can definitely see a difference now compared to then and it's only been 10 months so I just I can't wait for the final result but I can't wait to hear about your guys' experiences. Please comment down below if you have any questions or um, anything you guys want me to talk about in the future. Like, just let me know in the comments. I would um, be happy to help or answer some questions. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.